For today's topic, let's join now a group of young people at the National Education Program Workshop in Searcy, Arkansas. At the classroom lectern is Dr. Clifton L. Gaines, Jr., noted young historian. In other words, we must examine the distribution of the great wealth produced through the operation of American capitalism. Times have changed. Right on. Who are you? John Smith, I believe. The name's Coily! The whole world's gone crazy if you ask me. No springs! <laughs> You're gonna make an omelet? You gotta break a few eggs. Oh, John. No springs! <laughs> I was hooked. Bad. Right on. Here's some more music to help start off your day. Right on. We were making a place where people could worship God. And these people want to deny God and want to deny him to others. Is the distribution widespread, or is the wealth of America concentrated in the hands of a few, as the socialists and communists say? I would say it would be hundreds of billions. Right on. Why, my friend? For thee, why? Uh, but I'm afraid that uh, my business isn't pleasant. That glass looks like it has plain water in it, but actually it contains hope. Hope in the form of a radioactive iodine solution. friend for the why uh, but I'm afraid that uh, my business isn't pleasant as the socialist and communist say <laughs> oh, there there you see how you contradict yourself you see where your pretty reasoning leads you hey <laughs> no springs <laughs> as the socialist and communist say burning the looting a lot of stores were destroyed there among them, a, a drugstore, a grocery store, and a five and ten cents. Now, those stores have not been rebuilt. Right on. As the socialist and communist say. I say, begging your pardon, sir, are you a capitalist? What would you say? As the socialist and communist say. Yes, but it happened. And maybe it'll happen again, and much worse next time. He wants to be punished. And down below, the crowd was chanting, jump, 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 jump. Coily the spring spike, they call me. Right on. Presume? Huh. Unquestionably, I'm in the right. I was in the right in the beginning. I've been in the right all along. I'm always right. As the socialist and communists say, Did I win? No, I told him I'd think it over. I'm afraid there's no room for doubt. I would say it would be hundreds of billions. Utterly impossible. I hope I never see another spring as long as I live. That cannot be. No springs! Yeah. Yeah. The methods of influencing people to buy are more or less universal. They are based on human nature, which is perhaps the one thing in all the years that has remained constant. Right on. You can't tell me it's cheap to cook with electricity. Somebody else maybe, but not me. I know all about cooking with it. My sister-in-law used to have an electric range and her bills ran, oh, I don't know how much a month. Yeah. You think you're real sharp and you laugh a lot. You feel like you're the biggest person in the world. Oh, we, we've muddled and we've made mistakes. 
But this time, God has entrusted us with a physical force bigger than we've ever had before. One that can destroy us or can lead us on to new horizons. And with this choice before us, God willing, we shall not fail. And as if natural disasters aren't enough, man has added some of his own. Disasters whose destructive potential far outstrips anything nature itself has been able to produce. The incredible, awful and sudden power of a nuclear explosion. Yeah. The ragtags have to deny God, because as long as people believe in God and his laws of decency, then they won't go along with what these lowlives want to do. To create an atmosphere of general acceptance to all kinds of degeneration. And to sell their propaganda, they need a lure. Absolutely alone. Remember what happened to Phyllis and others like her. Talk it over with your parents or school counselors, somebody you have confidence in. In other words, we must examine the distribution of the great wealth produced through the operation of American capitalism. Have you ever heard of unemployment? Most young people can't even buy jobs. For years we've been told, get a college education. To get good jobs you need an academic degree. Well, academic degrees are lucky to be sweeping floors, and that's not our fault. Who owns all these automobiles? The employees in the plant. That cannot be. I would say it would be hundreds of billions. Oh, gee, Coily, I didn't realize what I was wishing. And you can sell America. Right on. Good night.